Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make uh, a staticky picture of yourself uh, on a broken computer. So let's get started. Come over to File, New, and we're going to want uh, 886 by 654, I got that number by dupl doubling the uh, size I want on the picture with the computer. So we're going to click OK. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go into Filters. Uh, noise and HSV noise and we want a lot here so we're just going to pull everything up and you can just play with it see what works for you And that looks pretty good, so let's click OK. All right, we're going to want to make this layer, give it an alpha channel. And let's rename this. Now we're going to Duplicate that and change the mode to multiply. And you can always play with the sliders so you can get what you want. In fact, you can come over to colors and hue and saturation. And pop, pump it down a little bit, make it more black and white, but I don't need that. So now we've got the uh, static -y part of it. Now I'm going to take a picture of myself. And I'm going to open this up in GIMP. And I don't have to be very close, so we'll use this foreground selection tool. This works really well when you want to isolate something like a flower petal or something. But I'm going to select that. Let's zoom out a little bit. And I'm just going to go around and select the area just outside my head. I don't have to be careful on this because I'm going to be pretty distorted when I get done with this. I'm kind of distorted anyway, but that's beside the point. And everything in blue has been isolated, so we're going to come up here, just grab the biggest brush we can, maybe feather the edges a little bit. And what this is going to do is grab colors that are similar.
Oops, went a little too far. My fault for not doing this in several steps. And as you can see, got a little too much off there. You can come in here and uh, select areas that may have been missed. And I think I'm going to take care of that area by my head uh, manually. So now I'm just going to hit enter. And we've got our little marching ants. So let's maybe zoom in a little bit. I'm going to get the free select tool. And control takes areas away. Shift adds areas. I'm going to want to take this part out. big thing you want to make sure you get all the area you want to keep. So now we're going to take away Yeah, it's kind of hard to do this with my mouse. <laughs> And that's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh yeah. We will need an alpha channel on this one. So I just right click, add alpha channel. And maybe feather the edges a little bit. And then we're going to reverse selection, or invert, and we can hit delete. Now just in case you do mess up, you'll want to save this. I'm going to save this as a XCF file. That's the GIMP format. Okay, let's invert the selection again. We're going to edit. Copy. And come over here to the uh, static picture. Gonna edit, paste as, new layer. And come over here to scale tool. I'm going to click it. And we're going to click on my picture. We're going to make sure the chain is locked. Keep everything in proportion. Now I'm actually going to want my eye on the left about in the center just for uh, <laughs> just looks better that way so I'm just gonna guess it
Let's see. Yeah, just to be sure. We'll just guess this at uh That looks pretty close. So let's drag that off. I'm going to hit tab to bring back up my tools. And just to be safe, I'm going to duplicate this. Hide the original. Actually, let's do this. Let's call this layer itself. Now let's duplicate that. That's just in case we make a mistake. And we're going to change this to the value mode. And now we got a nice little staticky picture for ourselves. And if we wanted it darker we could duplicate it again. But I don't think we need that, so let's take it out. I just hit Control Z. And I'm just going to pull the opacity down a little bit. We still want to look like we're staticky in the screen. And we can actually be a little lighter than we need because we can duplicate it later. We need some uh, lines to go across this. So, okay, we need to make a new layer. And we're going to pick the background color. Click OK. Now we're going to go into Filters, GMIC. Degradation, and we want old movie stripes. Yeah, I know it went transparent, but there's little black lines in there. And you'll have to play with this a little bit to see what you like. I found the first one I like about 28 to 30. So we're going to click OK. And we can always duplicate this, make it a little darker. Create a new layer. We want foreground this color this time. Go into filters. Reshow GMIC. Now this time we want to go up a little higher. Go to somewhere around 50. And click OK. And play with them. Yeah, screen did a good job. And we can duplicate it again to get a little more stripes. And image transform 
rotate 90 degrees. Now, as you can tell, it's got good white and black lines in it. So let's save this. Save as. And we're going to call this static dot XCF Okay, the next part of this uh, video, I'll go into putting this into a broken computer monitor.